Hello everyone. Well, this is actually a three subscriber special because I just hit three subscribers. That's a lot of people. Well, according to me, because I'm still a young YouTuber. But as a special, as a thing to you guys, for three people who decided to subscribe to my channel, I decided to make this. I decided to make this because we used to have two by two of this version of the store, but now we have four by four version. So. And I'm the first one to do it. I mean, I searched on YouTube and no one has done this before. I'm so excited. Let's just get into it. Before we get started, guys, I want to quickly show you something, which is this. I recently made a video about this. This actually was my first video on YouTube because I just started my YouTube channel in Wednesday this week. And this was my first video. And after so far, I gained three subscribers just on this video alone. That's incredible. It me it actually showed me that I'm actually doing something productive. For once in my in my life, I'm finally proud of something that I'm doing. So please subscribe, guys. And let's get into the video right now. So first, I have to show you this thing around. You can go if you want a tutorial on this one. If you still don't understand how this one works, I recommend you go check out my first video that I've made on YouTube. So let's go to the other door. So guys, I forgot to tell you in case you didn't notice, this one is a 2x2 door and this one is a 4x4 door and I'm the first one to make this thing. I can't believe it, me, first to make something. I can't believe other people did not make this pair because I searched on YouTube and this door does not exist. That's incredible. It, it actually shows me that I'm actually doing something productive. I gotta stop saying that and get to the video right now. So, I want to show you how this one works. It's a 4x4 flush with the wall piston door and it works exactly like that one. But this one is just super compact. So, when you open it, you're gonna press one button first and then you can, you, you can press the other one. You can choose which one you wanna start with. And you can make one, one button if you want. But, I actually think it's satisfying when you make these two buttons like this. I actually like it when there are two buttons on it. You get it, but inside it's not that seamless. It's not seamless. I try my best to make it seamless, but nope, I can't do it. Well, I can, but it's gonna take more, and more time. It's gonna need more time. So I'm gonna do this in, in the near future. I'm gonna try to make it seamless, and I'm gonna take that video and give it to YouTube so you guys can see it. And yeah, that's it. So please subscribe so you do not miss the tutorial on this one because this one is not a tutorial. This is just a video where I show you this store. So today I'm just going to show this store, explain how it works. And if you want a tutorial, subscribe so you do not miss my next video because tomorrow I will be making a tutorial. So let's just get into the explaining how this thing actually, actually works. Wow, I'm losing my voice. So again guys, if you want a tutorial on this thing, Subscribe so you do not miss my next video. So in the next video, I'm going to be showing you how this thing actually works I tried to contract it down, but it's actually way 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 harder than I thought Okay, so when you press this button rest do travel here and then it's not that important until it get to this point So once you get to this point you power this block and then believe it or not This is actually a dollar piece next uh, sorry a T flip flop So this T flip flop get powered powering this piston and then this piston is going to push this redstone block over here over this thing and then this thing is this redstone bus is going to power those repeaters down there and then those repeaters gonna power it's going to unpower the torch it's going to power it's going to power it's going to turn off and then when they turn off it's going to power it's going to wait power it's going to make the torches light up and when the torches light up this to under this thing there are torches so when they light on right now they are off and they light up those torches power these blocks and then that's the first mechanism and then the second mechanism as you can see here is on 80 so it's going to take time so when take that time and then it's going to come here and then here we have a, a, a double piston extender i'm sure you know what the double piston extender is so i'm not gonna spend too much time on that and then the this one is going to come out this way as well. It's also on eight ticks because I want those double pieces standard in here and that side to go at the same time. And then it pushes this whole thing down, and then this one get pushed over here, and then you get powered when this piston because this piston is gonna come over here because it's sticking to this slime blocks. And when you come over here, what will happen is when you come over here. 
when, when you come over here, what will happen is it get powered because this block will be powered by that time. And then when you get powered, when you push it here and go the same thing and make it seamless. And then this the same thing happens with this ones. So the top mechanism. At the time of the end, you can see I made a smart move here by using touches to travel the signal upward. So when you press the other button, it's going to come over here and then up here. I'm sure you understand how this one works. You can understand. Just tell me in the comment section. I made a video on that explaining how 10 ways you can actually tra make restaurant travel upward or maybe you want to talk about t flip flop anything that you want so in here when you press the button it's gonna end up here so when you end up here this get power when you get power this, so i made a little loop here so this one does not interact with these pistons and then this one get powered powering this western over here and then powering this piston first then power this is a t flip flop which then powers this thing this piston i use for updates they are used to update those piston at the top so this piston here, the same thing happens as in the bottom. This blocks will be powered, which make this thing get powered as well, and then pushes this whole thing and goes this whole thing here. And then, oh, as well as the teeth with flops. Sorry, I mean the double piston extenders. So there are double piston extenders right there, so they also get powered and push that thing. And then also that those resistance blocks will push down, which then make those pistons when they come right here in the middle, they get power and then push this whole thing and throw this whole thing down. And just by doing this again, you hopefully you should understand those pistons get powered and then they push this whole thing so when you do this again this thing also happens okay wow i hope that makes sense because i am tired of speaking right now i'm starting to lose my voice even though i have some kind of source though right now i just hope it's not COVID 19. Oh, that, that wasn't hard wasn't it well yeah it wasn't hard but it actually took me two days to make this one so that's for today guys thank you very much for watching thank you thank you this was my three subscriber special and uh i hope you can make your own tutorial and if you're struggling watch my other video tomorrow where i made a tutorial on this thing so my name is victor and i go by the name of hash dom on youtube so subscribe to hash dom to help me grow because i want to make youtube I want to make YouTube my full job. I want to make YouTube my full job. So let's get started. Here's the handsome little dumb.